welcome to Arcade Easy. I think it's pretty common that uh, a lot of Revit users are struggling with uh, having no good families for the Revit projects and sometimes if you would like to play something specific or unique and you cannot find it on the internet, you have to model it. Also, a lot of people are thinking that uh, creating something like uh, freeform or uh, organic shapes is a very tricky in Revit. Therefore, uh, today I'm going to show you how it's easy to model this uh, coffee table design by Lille Kreins. They called it SSU2. So you can take that workflow and create something for your needs or some your forms the process and the method is quite simple if you go to their website the link is in the video description you will see that they have two options of this table one is with the fine and the other one is with the rough uh, sides and I'm going to show you how you can also make this rough side directly in Revit and if you go to their web page you will see that there are two different sizes I can model let's say this one if you take a closer look at this table you will see that we have this flat part which is kind of the basement for the table postament and then we have these sides which rise up they called it sunny side up so the first thing i'm going to model will be this basement this postament my units in revit are in millimeters i will take extrusion tool and will first create the rectangle which will determine the sizes of the table 172 by 110 centimeters Bearing in mind that our uh, postament, the basement is smaller, I'm going to offset this for let's say 300. Just click space if you would like that, that to go inside. And then inside this smaller one, I'm going to create a free form. And for that, I'm going to use a spline tool. Once I made it, because I'm not satisfied with the shape, I selected uh, the spline and then I will just uh, uh, edit those edges. So simply select this and drag it until you get the form you like. Of course, if you would like to get more control, you can anytime add more control points. I will add one more here. And if you would like to move the last one, you see it's going to rotate and scale the object. If this happened to you, just no worries. How you can how you can drag the last the end edges, clicking the tab, and then select the last uh, the last uh, point. And I am almost done. So what I have to I will just add more one control point here and. I have to close this. In order to close it, I will take the arch tool. This needs to go a little bit down, something like this. And then I'm going to delete those two. We'll click fine. And here it comes. Bearing in mind that we have the height which is determined by the designers is 30 centimeters. And I will consider this basement uh, of five centimeters in height. I'm going to create a new reference plane, actually two of them. So this one will be called basement, while this one will call the top. I will lock this because it's always going to be 50 millimeters. And for this one, I'm going to make the parameter and we'll call it height. It's just in case you would like to change the height later on and you don't want to be stuck with one height, you need to create the parameter the same way I did. And then you will be anytime able to change the height of, uh, of your table. So in this case, I will make it, I don't know, 400. And I'm going to select the form I made and then I'm simply going to drag it up to here and then to lock it. So it means that whatever I do with this one is going to follow. But because it's locked, Revit showed us the warning. Now I need to create uh, the sides of the table and you see that they are rising up. The way to create it is by using a blend tool. I will set the reference plane to the basement and then we'll just pick the edges of the of the basement of the postament 
we'll go to edit top and for the edit top I can again create rectangle which represents the maximal sides of the of the table there are basically two ways how you can make this so the first one is to select the spline we have and then go to scale and then you can visually scale it but I don't like how this looks like so I will take spline and then I'm going to create something similar here we'll need to adjust the, the shape a little bit Delete this outer shape, click fine and let's go to 3D and here it comes. Now if we would like to change the height and to make it let's say 300, you see that our shape is going to follow or we can extend it on 450 and the same things happen. And what we have to do is to add materials. I'm going to create a very basic material and I'm going to do that into the family, you will see why, so let's create a new one, we'll call it 01, we'll use the render appearance and then here I will take the image, so you can take any wood texture in this case you like. We'll select our form and then we'll add this Material. and you see here it comes so if you would like to have the table with the flat sides you are done <laughs> you just need to save family and load it into the project but if you would like to have something like this to have this uh, kind of the rough sides I will show you how you can make it so I'm going to create the new material I can just duplicate this one and its asset then I'm going to enable the bump and for the image I will pick this noisy texture. You can pick here which one you want, you will see the difference immediately in the render. So I would like to have this turbulence, it's you see the most radical one. I can put the size on 0.1, we'll click fine. And we'll just rename this family to O2. So I will select both of those geometries and instead of this O1 we'll add O2. We'll use a paint tool because the top of the surface is flat and we'll just paint this one. We'll save the family and we'll load it into the project so you see how it looks like when we are rendering it. Let's put the realistic view and I will just put the white color to this floor so it will reflect nicer in our rendering. Let's turn on the shadows and I will go here to the view, render we'll just make this medium one to see how it's going to look like let me just zoom in a little bit here so we get a better clue So I mean this generally seems fine, if you would like to do any changes you need to go to the family and then we can edit our material. So I'm just going to add the bump and I'm going to increase its size to let's say 900. We'll load it into the project and then we'll overwrite it. And let's render it again, now I'm going to render it with the high settings.
and you see how it looked like. This was a very easy and a quick way how to model this freeform table shape and also how to add these rough sides and as you could see this is a very small size family it's just around 600 kilobytes which means that it's not going to make your project heavy you can take this approach and this method to create any kind of the freeform shapes you want and i really hope that this is going to be very useful for you please let me know what you think about this in the comments and of course if you have any questions just feel free to write there as well thank you very much for watching don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel